Dear Mitch, I had a dream about you last night, and I awoke in a panic. In my efforts to replace my thoughts of anguish with something of peace, I remembered something about you, and it calmed my weary heart. When it was time for you to leave the hospital, you couldn't get out of there fast enough. You were anxious to be a little boy again and put the labor of medicine behind you. Your mother pushed you in a wheelchair to the curb and gently helped you get seated in the car. As we were about to leave, you said, Mom, isn't it my turn to teach family night? Our hearts swelled and broke at the same time. You see, you were less concerned about playing with friends and toys and more interested in sharing something that was on your mind and heart. You nodded your head and said, Yes, Mom, I have it all planned out. What followed is best described as the longest drive of my life. We were on a one-way trip. There would be no more doctors, no more hospital visits to keep you healthy. Our job was to usher you to the other side of the veil. As a father, I worried whether I had done enough to teach you. But then I realized it was you who was teaching me. The next day you awoke, and you began preparations for the lesson you would share with our family. You chose a few books to read and prepared some important talking points about what it means to love. You asked your mother to read the books, which she did, like she did every night. I think you would have read them just fine, but I also think you wanted her to read them so it would start to feel like life was getting back to normal. The first book you chose was called The Invisible String, a story about a string of love you cannot see with your eyes, but you can feel with your heart. This is a, it's a special story. It says, it's called The Invisible String. Liza and Jeremy the twins were asleep one calm and quiet night. Suddenly it began to rain very hard. Thunder rumbled until it got so loud that it woke them up. Mommy, mommy, they cried as they ran to her. Don't worry, you two. It's just a storm making all that noise. Go to bed. We want to stay close to you, said Jerry. We're scared. Mom said, you know we're always together no matter what. But how can we be together when you're out here and we're in bed, said Liza. Mom um, held something right in front of them and said, this is how. Rubbing their sleepy heads, the twins came closer to see what mom was holding. I was about your age when my mommy first told me about the invisible street. When you're at school and you miss me, your love travels all the way along the string until I feel it a tug on my heart. And when you tug it right back, we feel it in our hearts, said Jeremy. Does Jasper the cat have an invisible string, Liza said? She sure does, said Mom. The look on your face said all that needed to be said. You were listening so close to the message of the story, a story about love and the bonds that tie us together. I couldn't help but notice the thumping and pounding in your chest as your heart was weak and struggling to work. A friend of mine observed after you'd passed that it was ironic that a child whose heart was broken could teach so much about love. You love that story, little Mitch, because it spoke the thoughts and feelings of your heart. No matter where we go on earth or in heaven, there will always be an invisible string that connects us. Then Jeremy quietly asked, can my string reach all the way to Uncle Brian in heaven? Yes, even there in heaven. Does a string go away when you're mad at us? Never, said Mom. Love is stronger than anger. And as long as love is in your heart, the string will always be there. Even when you're older and can't agree about things like what movie to see, or who gets to ride in the front seat, <laughs> that's a guess. No. Or yeah. what time to go to bed? Oh, that's right. You two should be in bed right now. And with that, 
They all laughed as Mom chased the twins back to their beds. That book will forever be treasured by our family for as long as we live. For like the author wrote, there is that invisible string that will always connect us. Looking back, I wonder if that was one of the messages you wanted us to know before you left us. You're gone now, far from view, but I can still feel that string tug at my heart and it will always tug at me for as long as I live. That is the magic children have on their parents, now and forever. I miss you, son. Love, Dad.